Hi, it's Ryan from Traders Warehouse Security Distribution UK. This is the fourth and final video on how to connect ProView IP cameras to Hikvision NVRs. In the last video, I went through how to set up the camera in the NVR using the NVR's menu system uh, directly via the, um, via the front panel of the NVR and via the mouse. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do it through the web browser interface of the NVR. At the moment, I have all my cameras connected into the numbered ports. I have the LAN port on the back of the NVR connected into my main network. The laptop I'm working on currently is also connected to my main network via Wi-Fi, um, but you could also use a wired connection to your main network. Both units, uh, the LAN port, the LAN side of the NVR and my laptop are set to DHCP so they've automatically picked addresses up on the, on the network. So the first thing we need to do is find out what the IP address of the Hikvision NVR actually is. So to do that you can either go into the menu of the NVR, um, yeah, I think I believe it's in configuration and the network uh, you'll be able to find it, or you can use the SADP tool which is the free software from Hikvision um, which you can download at this URL about to appear. Now, Okay, so once you've got the SADP tool and you've installed the SADP tool, um, all you need to do is run it from the icon on your desktop. So once it pops up, it will automatically find any Hikvision devices uh, that are on your network. Again, this is completely irrelevant of what IP address range they're in. It will just find anything it can. Um, so as you can see there, we found two devices. Uh, we found the, um, the top one and the bottom one there. I know that the device I'm working on is a DS7604, um, so we'll choose the second one down in that list. So as you can see there, it's telling me the IP address is 192.168.1.15 uh, and the management port is 8000. Um, so what we'll do is we'll use that address to log in using Internet Explorer. Now I'd always recommend Internet Explorer as the browser to use for, uh, for doing this kind of thing rather than uh, Chrome or Edge which is the new, uh, the new version that comes with, uh, with win later versions of Windows 8 and 10. Um, Internet Explorer supports ActiveX controls which is what you'll need to, uh, to be able to view the camera pictures uh, directly through the browser. Okay, so we're going to tap that address into the address bar now. Now I went straight to that address, um, you, you did see earlier in that SEDP tool the port was set to 8000, that's just the management port, we're logging in through the web port which is 80, um, and when the port is 80 you don't have to add it onto the end of the address. Um, if your NVR is set to a different port, such as you know um, 9000 or something like that to log in with, you put the, the IP address, then a colon, then the, uh, the HTTP port, but in this case as I say, as, as it's 80, that's the default port, we don't have to do anything. So, uh, so on here, all we need to do is um, you know, it may pop up directly with um, directly with the login screen, or it may tell you that new versions of the software are detected, or you might need to install the software. If you do need to do that, just follow the prompts. It's really straightforward, um, and just uh, just keep clicking next, basically, and install it. Uh, and once it's on, you'll get the login screen, and you'll log into the DVR using the DVR's username and password, which is admin for the username. And we set the password on our DVR to 12345678 A B C. Okay, so that takes us into the uh, into the main uh, screen of the uh, of the recorder. From there, we'd hit configuration across the top, and then we would go to camera management. You can see there um, all the cameras are showing us on offline uh, with various different uh, various different issues. So that, that's probably how it would come out of the box if you just connected your cameras in without doing any programming. So all we're going to do is click on each camera and enter the correct details. So highlight the first one, click the modify button, change it from plug and play to manual. 192.168.254 is the correct address that we set earlier for the camera. Select onvif. The port is going to be 80. Admin is the username and admin is the password. and then you just click the OK button. You can get a message in the, uh, the bottom right hand corner which says say succeeded. You can then move on to the next camera, highlight it, modify, exactly the same, choose manual, 11 uh, is, is the correct IP address we set earlier. Onvif's already in there, port 8 is already in there, we'll just make sure the, uh, the password's correct, which is admin, is the camera password.
and we'll just go through and do the same for each camera. Okay, so we've gone through now and we've set each camera up uh, through that menu system there. What we'll do is we'll just refresh the page. And the first three shown is online. The fourth one was the one that we set the, um, just a second ago, so it might just take a, a minute or so just to, uh, to pick up and start working on there. There we go. So now all four cameras are shown as online. If we go to the live view screen, Uh, we should now be able to make each camera uh, play. There we go. So that's how you uh, that's how you set up preview cameras through Hikvision MDR via the web interface. Thanks very much for watching all of these informational videos. Hopefully they've been helpful to you. I will try and get some more out there. So if there's any other things you you want to kind of see, just drop a, a comment in the box there. And why not subscribe to the uh, Traders Warehouse YouTube channel for more videos like this delivered directly as a push notification to your phone. Thanks very much.